Botox is used in jaw muscles all the time, but we don't know very much about what happens inside the muscles. We did an animal experiment using rabbits to see what really is going on inside the masseter muscle after it receives injections of, of botulinum toxin. Here's what a normal rabbit masseter is supposed to look like. You see a bunch of homogeneous sized uh, muscle fibers packed into a fascicle. And in between the fascicles, there's little strands of collagen. After we put the Botox in, this is one month after Botox goes in. It's just when muscle activity is beginning to come back in rabbits. As expected, a lot of these muscle fibers are atrophied because the treatment paralyzes them. So it's like bed rest, the muscle fibers just shrink. Interestingly though, some of the muscle fibers are really big. In fact, they're bigger than normal as if they were not affected by the Botox and they're compensating for the loss of all these little shrunken ones. You also see a lot more collagen fibers in there, a lot more of this blue stuff. So we're getting some fibrosis in the muscle. Now we've waited three months because by that time, the activity is all the way back. The muscles are, are, are acting normally and the rabbits are chewing just fine. And so we thought perhaps the muscle would be completely recovered by this time. But actually it turns out that it's not completely recovered. Some of the fibers apparently have died. So we see a lot of empty profiles here. There is even more fibrosis than there was before. We have a lot of these clumped, really blue uh, collagen fibers in there. There's still some very, very small atrophied fibers in them, but very many of the fibers are hypertrophied. Finally, we had some rabbits in which we injected the Botox three times, each one with a three month recovery in between, because lots of people get repeated treatments of Botox. Here we find all the changes have gotten worse. There's more fibrosis, more dead fibers, more little teeny atrophied fibers that apparently have never started contracting again, but also a whole bunch of really gigantic ones. And these are apparently the ones that are responsible for activity coming back. So the conclusion here is that these uh, muscles, which we've denervated by the Botox, aren't really recovering. The fibers that were affected don't get better, but other fibers which are not affected by the Botox, but um, which remain functional or they recover very fast from it are compensating for it. And that's what brings the function back.